You know what time it is? It's bargain time. Okay, it's time for the running shoe bargains of October 2020. You know, I'm always looking out for some bargain shoes that I can let you guys know about out in the world of the web. YouTube land, the inter-knowledge base. What am I going on about? Too much coffee, too much coffee. I'm always on the lookout for those bargains because, you know, I don't have enough running shoes. That's a lie. I've got more than enough for a small army, I think, now. An army of running people. That'll be a good army. Peace in our time. Let's get to it. Loads of the viewers recently have said that they really like the Nike React Myla. It's not a shoe I've tested out. I know that Andy the Fod Runner didn't get on too well with it, but lots of people like it. So it's here today. The black and white version of the Nike React Myla is now discounted on the Nike website to £55. You have to use a code to get it down that low. I think it's OCT2020. That reduces the sale price by another 20%. I don't think you can lose for 55 quid. Loads of sizes available for that very popular React midsole shoe. One for mile munching consumption. If you're after trail offerings, then you could be in luck. Nike have the Terra Kyger 6 in the very bright vault and blue colorway that one's now down to 65 earth credits i really enjoyed the terra Kyger 5 actually wore it for a couple of trail races one of them involved wading through a ford not a car a uh, a ford it's very muddy i remember one guy almost disappeared under the mud and the water it's a little bit scary but i enjoyed it i think there's a few changes between the terra Kyger 5 and 6 um possibly only aesthetic. I think the midsole construction is the same and certainly the outsole look very similar. A good road to trail base shoe. The slightly heavier and built up Wild Horse 6 is also on sale at the Nike store. That can be purchased again with that Oct 2020 code over here in the UK for only 59 earth credits. That's pounds for you that haven't been here before. It's a real steal if you want some trail action. And a shoe that's got the word horse in the title is obviously going to be good. I notice they've got a few of the largest sizes in the women's Pegasus 35 still available. That's only £43, so if you require a slightly higher size in that one, in the black and white colourway, you know where to go. I think the Pegasus 35 is actually my favourite of the last three Pegasus-based shoes. Full-length zoom underfoot, the tongue, just everything about it just felt plush enough, but also fast enough to pick up the pace. I found it a really great versatile shoe and at £43, I don't think you can lose. Good for pavement and road stuff, but you could also use it on some light trails as well. The outsole was quite versatile. A bargain there for you. Lots of women always complain that it's only the very small sizes that are available on certain shoes. So I hope this helps a few people out. The Pegasus 36 in one of the colorways is also available on the Nike website at a discount right now. I'm gonna have to read this one out from my notes because it's an interesting colorway selection. It says pumice, vast gray and pink quartz. Sounds really good actually. Why can't we get those in men's sizes? That one's only £54, so for the slightly newer version of the Pegasus. Of course there you've got the same midsole and outsole configuration, but a slightly more pared down upper. The tongue is far less padded on the Pegasus 36. There's not a huge amount of difference though, aside from that. Teeny bit lighter maybe. Still a great shoe, and I did prefer the 36 over the 37 from this year. Lots of Nikes there for the girls and the boys. Let's move on. Adidas have the Adios 5 at only £78 over at their website. It's the black and white colourway, the classic colourway for an Adidas shoe. Always reminds me of the World Cup and Copa Mundial football boots. There's a variety of sizes available on that one. It's actually quite tempting. I try and stop myself from actually picking one of those up. It just looks so old school. Reminds me of the old days playing football at school, jumpers for goalposts. The boost and light strike combination in that shoe looks like a pared down version of the Boston 9. A little less stack and the awesome upper on the current Adidas shoes, it can't be beaten. I think Selamash is probably my favorite upper of the year so far. Well, there's only a couple of months left. Hey, it's almost Christmas. Christmas is the best. You can eat as many mince pies as you like and Christmas cake is widely available. The slightly older Adios 4 is also available in loads of sizes right now. That's got a slightly more traditional mesh upper 
and a more snug race fit. Again, the black and white versions available in quite a few sizes. Around about £78 for that one. Certainly a really good race option or a tempo option if that's what you're looking for. Both of those shoes there have got a boost based midsole and you just feel a little bit closer to the terrain and the ground. That's something I'm really enjoying actually. I do like my cushion shoes but I like feeling a little closer to the floor. I'm already up high enough here. Don't need extra height. The black version of the SL20 is also discounted right now. You can pick that up at the Adidas website for £65. It's the non-summer version of this super light shoe. Unfortunately, the summer ready version, I haven't got as many miles into it as I would have liked by this point. I mean, we're in autumn now. Maybe I can use it as an autumn ready version. Autumn's proved to be very, very wet and windy and generally quite unpleasant up to now though. They've got pretty much every size in the black version of the SL20, so go ahead and pick one up and find out what all the fuss is about. With the SL20 though, some people do say it comes in a little bit short. I've heard some people say it comes in too long. I found going up half a size was absolutely ideal in the SL20. Didn't seem to be odd in terms of fit. And Adidas have got a fantastic returns policy, which I've had to utilize over the last week. It was brilliant actually. I managed to get an exchange in terms of a size in a couple of days. More Adidas action. You know how I love the Selamesh upper. You can experience it too in the fantastic and super light Takumi Sen 6. Sportshoes.com have discounted the Takumi Sen 6 by £50. It's still right up there at £90, but that shoe is dynamite. The quick strike outsole on that shoe is superb. If you're looking for a very effective 5 to 10k shoe, then the Takumi Sen 6 could do a good job for you. It's quite an interesting one actually. You've got boost in the forefoot of the shoe and then light strike in the rest of it. Almost like they're using the boost as Nike are with those AirPods in the forefoot, midfoot section. And of course the rest of the shoe utilizes some of that continental rubber. And you know that that's good stuff. Only a five mil drop on that one. It's really meant as an out and out pace shoe. Does fit a little snug. I went up half a size and that should suffice. I'm not forgetting the ladies today up and running have got the Triumph 17 from Saucony at a discount right now. The blue version's reduced to about £89, which is about £40 off of the retail price. I enjoyed the Triumph 17 earlier this year. It was a really great long run shoe for me. Bring the pace down, just really well cushioned, the very plush feeling on foot. I noticed Start Fitness have also got the grey and blackout versions of the Triumph 17 on sale. A little bit more expensive there, £98, but I still think that's a Great deal. The Triumph 17 is a little bit lighter than the 18, and I think with autumn and winter coming, that extra plush and quite cushioned upper is going to go down really well. It's kind of like having a little fire and a mug of cocoa around your foot. I think the idea of that's probably better than actually hearing it said, but you get my drift. If you haven't ordered from Start Fitness before, if you sign up with them, you can get a 5% discount code, which brings the price down a little bit more. Saves you a few pennies ready for Christmas. I said bud price. I think that's about all the running shoe bargains I can find right now. I'll be back with some more very soon. If you've found any really good running shoe bargains I've missed out on today, please let me know down in the comments. Help some more runners out and save some cash. Musical interlude time. I've been listening to Songs for Silverman again by Ben Folds. This one came out back in 2005. I think I had a CD copy of it somewhere, but I've no idea where it's gone. It must have been lost in a move or something. You to Thank and Landed are really beautiful songs. Jesus Land as well is another great track. There's some beautiful piano playing on this record. There's a really great song on there called Late as well, which I believe Ben Folds wrote all about Elliot Smith and the fact he wasn't able to contact him or felt really sad he never got to perhaps make some music with him after listening to his music himself while out on tour. I'm a big Ben Folds fan, I really like his stuff. He does some really interesting arrangements and he's a good entertainer as well. Uh, well I remember at the start of the lockdown he was doing some stuff from a hotel room that he'd hired. I think he got may have even got stuck somewhere. Um, while he was out touring and he just had to stay where he was for a while. So go and check him out, Ben Foltz. That's all for me for today, guys. Thanks for watching through to the very end of the video. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. Click the bell also for notifications of when we launch those new videos. It helps the channel out a huge amount as well if you give this video a thumbs up like and share it with your running buddies. My name's Ed Bud, and I'll be seeing you.